Well, Pinocchio just grew and grew, didn't he? So, oh my god. Oh, I hope we get kicked off the air today. So they're laughing their brains off right now. So this is working. Uh, don't forget to check out today's uh, little thing reward scheme on the show. It's a secret from Bass Mom and the family. So, but you know what to do. Um, Dr. Unpronounceable last name. We have Shannon. She has a PhD in music. She's a, oh a doctorate gosh. in music. I'm really sorry, Shannon. <laughs> and she says that your guitar playing was amazing. I'm still trying to understand the punchline of the joke, she's saying. Sloppy on... Yeah. <laughs> uh, of all bass moms, Scottish children, how now transplanted in Canada, which one is her favorite? <laughs> well, it's just me here, Dave. Not much oh, choice. <laughs> so it's all about Dave again, eh? Oh, I'm just joking, Dave. I man love you. My wee laddie jock. <laughs> wee, la wee laddie jock. Okay. So, uh, bass mom is beautiful, says Sand Monster. Oh, Sand Monster, thank you, sweetheart. Sand Monster got the fan down there for the Sandy fan. So she's. Sandy fan, yeah. We have some jokes about that. Yeah, so I bet you do. <laughs> the Shackle Block here, which is an electronic shackle. Oh. This is the Shackle Block. I'd like you guys to hold this, and there's a button you can turn on the light. The shackle, she made it. The, the well, Shackle Block. Sandy handmade that. The telephone lines are open, by the way. You're just very, in case very I clever, Sandy. So, oh, yes, you did, in a great big pot. I remember the pot, but not the jello. Yeah, you used to make jello. You were like 16 when you did it, Jack. You weren't a kid. He <laughs> was. He was a 16-year-old kid. A 16-year-old man and trapped had, in a woman's body. No. He had thick, black, curly hair in ringlets, naturally. Now look at him. They called them boing-boings, <laughs> the girls. If I were single and had a valid passport, I'd take Bass Mom out for a nice seafood platter, says Dave. Well, I think I might just go with you, Dave. Thank you. Seafood's my favorite. <laughs> uh, Dave. Uh, what a guy. Someone just changed their username to. Uh, someone changed their username to look. It's Pinocchio. <laughs> You've already started a, a trend. <laughs> You've already broken the internet. Who is that? Look, in the, look, it's Pinocchio. It's probably Chris. Uh, Sand Monster. Thank you, Bass Mom. LOL, Pinocchio. <laughs> Stop pulling your nose, Pinocchio. <laughs> Sloppy. Any embarrassing moments uh, from his teenage years and faith in humanity says it's not always about Dave. It's not always about Dave. Well, can you hear me? Yeah. There was one incident when he was probably about 15. He was sleeping over at a friend's house, but the two of them, unbeknownst to myself and the other kids' parents, they snuck out to the public swimming pool uh -oh. and climbed over the fence and went swimming and the police caught them. So I got a phone call in the middle of the night from the police with the two lads at the police station. <laughs> he was very, music. very naughty. Uh-oh. Yep. Yeah. It's the only time I ever got in trouble was at the, the swimming pool when I was a little kid with Donovan. Yeah. It's just normal teenage stuff, Jack. Don't feel bad. I feel dirty. I was just annoyed that you woke me up in the middle of the night. All the chlorine in that pool couldn't wash off the, the shame and guilt that I still feel. Okay, so we're, we're on the camera. We're having fun. We're answering questions. We're keeping it interactive. Um, so thank you for coming to the show, everybody. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Colette. Thank you, Bass Mom, for coming from Canada. All for this one appearance. That's amazing. Howard is in New York. Sloppy is in New Jersey. Pinocchio is uh, in the, is in the uh, woodshed. Sand Monster is in Florida, and thank you all for being here. Uh, Faith in Humanity is in Florida as well. And we're going to take a short commercial break. This show is getting far too serious right now, and we need to lighten up a little bit. So I'm going to release the jazz gas if I can. I'm going to take a short, short commercial break, and we'll be back with some more bass mum music. Let's just do some music now, mum. Go for it. Suck it to me.
messed it up, Jack. Sorry. It's the jazz version. happening in the room just a guy with a computer it's better with the sound effects thank you bass mom that was awesome no, it, wasn't. it was beautiful it was care. great I don't care. I'm having a fantastic time at, during Wild West week uh, there's a lot of viewers here right now there's a lot of people watching the show so you're famous this is bass mom and the Colettes it's Auntie Colette in the middle wave Auntie Colette and there's Uncle Rick Wolverine driving the train today. He's the conductor. <laughs> we have ba Bass Mum. And he's actually met the real Wolverine. Yeah, you guys must have some pretty cool stories about the, the old days, like the Beatles and stuff like that. And any more questions for Bass Mum? Any more questions for Bass Mum? We have Mary Xmas. Hello, Mary Xmas. Sand Monster. Are you in the room? Uh, get your questions together and I'll read through them in a minute. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. And then we're going to do our first segment, which is the Base Guy World News. Thank you for watching. Please stand by. We have almost 500 left, and we don't know what to do. I started using them as wallpaper in my bathroom. So get your Base Guy membership card today! Right, Harley? Not operating. And welcome to the Base Guy Action World News. These are things that happened in the news this week. Breaking news reports from all around the world. I don't know if you know this, Colette and Rick, but people from all around the world come to this show to find out about current events that are happening in the world. The Base Guy Action World News. So uh, our story is, this is a fascinating, incredible story that you can all go online right now and check out. There is a new video game, if I can find it here. Um, the goal of this new mobile phone for both Android and, uh, Android and Apple phones is the object of the game is to send Donald Trump into space. <laughs> Try, trying, to, trying to get rid of him. Wow, look at that. It's, it's even moving. I didn't know it could do that. So yeah, the idea is to, uh, so you just go on a thing, it's called the internet, you just go internet.com and uh, look up the Donald Trump game for your, your phone and you try and get him to blast off into space. And uh, that's it, that's the Base Guy World News where you come for all your current worldly events.
coming up this day today. But first, we're going to go to a commercial break and some more music from Bass Mum. Thank you for every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And every weeknight at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Cool. 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 Just visit BassGuyShow.com And all your streams will come true. Yeah, whatever, man. Just leave me alone. BassGuyShow.com Thank you for calling the Bass Guy Show Help Desk. If you are having troubles with your stream, please refresh your stream. If that does not work, please refresh your stream. If you want to order a picture of Chief Stones wearing his deputy uniform, please press 1. You have chosen to order a picture of Chief Stones wearing his deputy uniform. Please enter the number of pictures you would like to order. You have chosen to order 74 pictures of Chief Stones wearing his deputy uniform. We're sorry. We are currently out of all copies of Chief Stones wearing his deputy uniform. They were all purchased by Dr. Shannon unpronounceable last name. Please call back at a later time if you want to order more pictures of Jeeve Stones wearing his deputy uniform before they are all purchased again by Dr. Shannon unpronounceable last name. Can you play Jolie Louise, Jack? Sure. On the guitar? Uh, yeah, I can try if you want me to. Jolie, how do you do? I'll try. I think I know it. We're going to do a song by Daniel Lanois, who is a Quebecois guy. He actually produces for you too. It's not. It's a good band, not as good as U3, but. <laughs> I don't know what key though I sing in. Okay, so let me put some reverb on your voice and my guitar. It's okay, though. If, if you marry me, no. No, you're singing. Mm, you're singing. I know. The I know. I know. <laughs> those song? those notes don't exist. <laughs> Mais joli, how do you do? Mon nom est Jean Guy Tiboularu. I come from east of Gatineau. Mon nom est Jean Guy Majoli. J'ai une maison à la Fontaine where we can live. If you marry me, a belle maison à la fontaine, where we can live, you and me, oh Louise, ma jolie Louise, ma jolie Louise, no, no, and the rage spins in my head, and Louise, I strike her down. The kids are gone, and so is Louise. Ontario, they did go near La Ville de Toronto. Now, my tears, they roll down on tous les jours, oh, no, oh, no, no. And I remember the days and the promises we made. Oh, Ma jolie Louise, ma jolie Louise. Very good. I've never heard that song in my life. Thank you, Bader Faye. Taste the goodness of the land. A novel of temptation and primitive passions. Cracker girl. She's hot and sweaty. Sitting on the porch all day, this lady needs to cool down. In the deep south, things can get really sticky. A novel of seduction, intrigue, and hot 
melting desires. Be sure this summer to read Cracker Girl. <laughs> okay, so I think you kids have had enough of the show, yeah? Yep. I'm going up for a cigarette. You guys are going to take off now. Okay, thanks, Rick. Good to see you. Bye. Take care. Enjoy your, enjoy your smoke. I smoke, but only on stage. <laughs> yeah, because you're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Should I just say goodbye? You guys want to leave now. You've had enough. You yeah, want to escape. Tired. They want to escape, basically. It's like... Should I go with you? Of course. Mm -hmm. We're just going for a walk or wherever. Au revoir, mes amis. À tout à l'heure. À la prochaine fois, peut-être. Oh, wow. C'est oui. bien. Oui. Tu oui, parles français. Ben oui, je parle français. Puis maintenant, je reste en Québec. Yeah. Je vais oh, parler. Excusez-moi. Ben oui, good shows, hein? Colette, would you like to say anything into the microphone? Or? En français? En français, no? Ah, oui. Sloppy on focus says so you look you look younger. She looks forty five, says Sam Monster. American. American, yeah. The Americans, yeah. Americans are, are amazing. They're great. Um, I mean no money exchange. American woman. Way to go, Colette. Such beauty, says Sock Cop. Get the hell out of here, says Sam Monster. Like run while you so thanks for being on the show today. Eh? I'll take you off camera so you can and wait. Thank you guys for your comments. I really appreciate it. Au Everybody au say bye to Colette. Les and fois. base mom. À la prochaine. Thank you. Take care. So that was really weird. Uh, I've I don't usually have people in the studio, so I'm fine when I do things by myself. You know, I play with my dolls by myself and uh, BassGuyShow.com, and I do all my things. But when there's people there, they're just staring at me and they're watching the moon go up and they're kind of like freaked out and like, what the hell? Who the hell is this guy? And what is he doing on my computer? So thank you very much, the people on the wall, for all your help and love and support. Now that they're out the room, you guys gone? Yeah, they're not here anymore. Uh, I don't usually put tip rewards up. I stopped doing it. Uh, you can buy my CDs if you want, and that's the best way to help an artist. You know, Basically, if you go to the store and you're thirsty and you want a Dr. Pepper, you pay a dollar for Dr. Pepper and you drink the product. Well, I'm a musician and I sell CDs, and they're all available on BassGuyShow.com. You know that I'm preaching to the converted. It's just in case anyone new is watching. But today's tip reward is uh, all of the money that's raised today. I'll go check it out later. I'm going to take that money and I'm going to go buy flowers for my mother and for BB, my girlfriend, because they're, they're the women that, that hold basically my life together. And without them, there would be not only no Bass Guy show, there would, there would be like, you know, there'd be carnage. There'd be train wreck all the time. You'd, you'd be, read about me in the papers. So thank you, Bass Mom. Uh, thank you, gang. I just thought it was, I asked if it was okay to do that and someone, we thought it was a good idea. Let's raise money today to buy flowers for Bass Mom. And I'll show you on tomorrow's show or tonight's show, the flowers. So I'm going to go to the flower store today. This shirt I'm wearing is a uh, Mohawk, Mohican, Algonquin, Mohican, uh, Ganawage, sorry. It's a Mohawk. Um, I started to say the P word and then it just continues, you know? Us adults are just like children. We can't stop. Um, so sorry about that. So thank you for tuning in to the Bass Guy Show. You're watching the Bass Guy Show. There is uh, a truck outside. That truck is live. You are in the feed live. We're going to go to our first story um, of the day. And this is, there's Jim, this day today. Dave says, can't stop, won't stop. So these are things that happen on this day today. Uh, today is Tuesday, September the 20th, 2016. Welcome to the feed. It is hashtag Wild West Week, WWW, Wild West Week. Think about it. 
uh, what happened? Talking about, see, it was all a big setup. The reason I was talking about that sloppy is because it's to do with this amazing artist, Jim Morrison. Uh, this day today, September 20th in 1970, Jim Morrison was found guilty. He was charged and found guilty for exposing himself on stage. I remember watching the movie, uh, the remake of The Doors by, um, what's his name, big famous movie director. And when, when they, they reenacted that stage, and if you look up close, you can tell that he was just sticking his finger. He stuck his finger through his jeans and went like that. It was like, it was, and you only saw it for like one second. Not that I rewinded it and watched it a whole time, a whole bunch of times. Not that I'm in, Oliver Stone, yeah. Not that I'm into that kind of thing, but I was just curious. And it was his finger sticking through his, a little trick you can, a little party trick you can try there. Just use your finger. So this day, today, September, uh, he, he just basically wanted to be able to express himself. And he was, you can see in the movie, uh, was given a hard time by the, the police who were enforcing that, you know, he can't sing about certain lyrics and certain things. And, but different times, different whatever. So Jim Morrison showed his penis to the world and was uh, found guilty of this day today. Uh, we have the birthday. I think we have some more pictures of Jim. Great looking guy. Uh, amazing singer. There he is, taking a little nap, having a little sleep. Sometimes he's like bass guy. He gets tired and he needs his nappy naps. Today is the birthday of Guy Lafleur, who was born in 1951 from Montreal. He's the uh, one of the world's uh, most famous and greatest hockey players ever to live. Uh, it says invalid source, protected photo. Okay, so there's Guy Lafleur, Guy Lafleur from Mont Montreal, Quebec, I believe. So happy birthday to Guy. Happy birthday, Guy. Check out some Guy Lafleur on YouTube. I think you'll be most impressed. Um, what's Sock Cop is saying, uh, I just wear morph suits to parties. Uh, Sock Cop, I had that picture on a shirt. And that is now much too small for my fat body. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> I'm gonna jam a song that we're gonna finish up. the bass guy show today i love you guys we'll do a little jam for you then we'll leave thank you bass mom and auntie colette uncle rick for all those embarrassing questions happy birthday Guy. thank you shannon we're raising money today to buy uh bb and bass mom flowers one time flower drive uh, there's only 10 more minutes in the show and whatever money is made today thank you good people very kind of you I'm going to go buy flowers for both the ladies because they both deserve it. Bass guy's just, he's not doing a good enough job and he needs to, he needs some help showing love. So, um, thank you very, very much for, for getting flowers for Bass Mum and BB today. See you later, truck. Frickin' drum beat on again. Thanks, Sock Cop. This is a song that is way too fast. Thank 
day today uh larry you want to put up the right still you're making a jackass of me it's the weather with Fr- freaking freaking frankie mcdonald i'm holding frankie mcdonald in my head that was a song called uh impressions and so what by john coltrane and miles davis there's actually a dispute over who wrote it but whatever it's a modal tune here's a frankie mcdonald bobblehead half the proceeds go to autism this is bu- purchased for the show by sloppy unfocus so thank you for that sloppy be sure to check out uh, Frankie McDonald's brand new website, which is Frankie. Mc- Ow, I'm getting shocks. FrankieMcDonald.ca. It's really incredible. And uh, coming up right now is the weather. Action weather. We nailed it. It feels much longer than an hour, but the show's over. It's uh, it's been Wild West week. It's time to feed the horses. Don't forget to check out the new. Uh, game where you try to send Donald Trump into outer space. It's available for Android and for uh, iPhone, Mac, and for tablets and all that crap. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hashtag nailed it. It's weird, eh? In every Western movie, they always have the Undertaker. He's going around measuring people to uh, see if they're going to be, you know, what their size is for their coffin. Uh, what the hell is that? So if you'd like to come into my bar, I'm now serving. Uh, water flavored whiskey and uh yeah it's gonna be great we're gonna have a great time so we'll be back tonight i think i think we'll be back tonight we're on as much as possible larry would you shut up that's not even a horse that's larry it's larry in the toilet again oh so that's about it his vision was a winchester in the hands of one of the men pointed toward the cashier's counter in the bank He quickly recovered his lost wits, and realizing the truth of the situation, he called out to the men in the store. So we have some uh, clips there of stories about the uh, the Dalton brothers and Jesse James gang and all that. So we'll be doing that later on when we have more time. Uh, Thank you very much, Red Car. Thank you, Enlightenment Industries. Thank you, everybody on the wall for watching. Uh, thank you, thank you, Cooter and McCliff. Sorry I missed it. I was getting married and feeding the squirrels. That's okay. Just watch the repeat because it was uh, it was bass moment. It was pretty pretty special. Sloppy Unfocus, thank you very much. Faith in Humanity, thank you very much. Dr. Shannon, unpronounceable last name, thank you very much. Sentimental Sam Sai, thank you very much. Uh, you heard about Pinocchio. There, we, well, there's a theme here. We had Pinocchio. And then we had Jim Morrison being arrested for showing his Pinocchio, and then my mom in the Pinocchio story, and so there was a theme. Thank you, Sock Cop. Uh, thank you, everybody. Mary X Faithful. There were some other new faces here too, so don't forget to follow the Base Guy Show. I'm going to do a two-second push. Um, BaseGuyShow.com. Everything's available there. But uh, if you want to find out my handlebar, it's at Base Guy Show. That's for Vine. That's for Twitter. That's for Instagram. That's for frickin' your bank account, probably. Um, at Base Guy Show is where I'm available uh, on Twitter, for example. Uh, if you want to check out other media sources, I'm learning how to do the game here. Uh, we're all available on Instagram. We have a lot of fun. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. That's so much fun. Uh, and that's 
I think about it. Oh yeah, I've got albums for sale on BassGuyShow.com. If anybody wants to know the, the original site, you can Skype into this show too under Bass Casey. If you're watching the video, just pause it and write it down on a piece of paper. Uh, you can check out my albums on JackCaseyBandCamp.com. I've got 30 over 30 albums I think right now, and uh, you know there's a Bass Guy album with adverts made by the Bass Gang themselves and some songs that have stuck in between. It's actually like a 50 track album this album is like it's like five bucks or, or something and it's it's like 15 hours long it's the original podcast with Richard Velcro um, and then we have albums of me playing in studios and then I have my own uh, first debut album if that's what you call it there's a whole bunch of albums a whole life's works up there I do rap jazz funk pop folk comedy uh, mashed potatoes gravy everything that you could desire and that is all available on Bass Guy Show. I think I'll do that quick commercial plug at the end of every show because, you know, we all got to eat. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the show. I really believe in what we're doing. We're having fun. And that's the main goal of this show is to have fun. Um, I'm learning to look at the camera. I'm learning to read the comments. After six or 700 shows, I'm starting to finally get it. Uh, that's Trish, not Sam Silverpants. Thank you, Sloppy. I do race, you know, at the beginning of the show I said Uncle Colette, which is my aunt. So I have no idea. So sometimes I just need to stop and receive the mail. We have mail. Should I go check it now or should we wait till tomorrow? check it now. Looks better in black and white. Eh? Be back in two seconds. I'll leave you with a little story about Jesse James. The home of Frank and Jesse James, the most famous outlaws in the world. The James Farm is located about three miles east of Kearney, Missouri. Now Alexander Franklin James was born here on January the 10th, 1843. Two years later, July the 19th, 1845, Robert James Jr. was born with complications. He died 33 days later. Two years after baby Robert's death, Jesse Woodson James was born, September the 5th, 1847. Well, they say that no news is good news. I opened it up and it was just empty, an empty void, an empty cubicle. Larry, could you stop playing the frickin' piano so I can think? Sorry about that. Larry gets really excited uh, on the piano. He's got his own piano in the toilet there. So it's Wild West week. We have a different theme every week. We do segments. We do music. We do jazz. We do folk. We do a bit of everything. Um, I've been doing a lot of research about a week's worth on algorithms, data, uh, tagging, search words, uh, YouTube University tools partnerships I've been doing all of these things to try and learn how it works and it's really it's a really fun challenge it's, it almost it has nothing to do with the actual content that you're doing but it does uh, and one thing we could do is automatically put closed captions on our videos which we're gonna start doing now um, but you can manually write everything in so I'm still working on that we're gonna figure out this algorithm so that we can you know grow our audience and reach out to more people so we can touch more people. Would you like to touch more people with me? You just done gone watch the Bass Guy Show. I really want to thank all of you for uh, helping with the, the flower thing. And I'm going to go buy some flowers right now. Thank you for watching the Bass Guy Show. I hope I'm, I'm doing a better job reading the comments and whatnot. Shannon, Sand Monster, everybody, thank you very much. Take care. Walk tall. I'm going to now have a duel with Frankie. McDonald's.
standoff, ladies and gentlemen. Take care. Base Guy loves you. No fear. We'll see you tomorrow. Base Guy Show goes live right here on Concert Window. Be sure to tip those waitresses. Yes, indeed. Yo, let's give it up for Base Guy. Everybody, I love you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get these flowers. You guys are freaking awesome. You just watched the Bass Guy show.